What's up everybody? I've just made um, land in Olivine City because we're back uh, from Steenwood with the team. I just ran away from all the fights on the way so nothing has happened at all. Um, so that's good. So what are we doing now? We are going to the lighthouse to tell Jasmine that we got the medicine and she can chillax and she can come down and we can kick her Steelix's bottom. So let's do that. How you doing Nigel? I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to another gym fight. Um, I don't know, is this one going to be much harder than Chuck where we, we, we cruised to victory because we were over leveled? Um, I imagine we'll be leveled enough for this one, to be honest. I think we'll do quite nicely. Just a bit of a boring stroll up the lighthouse. Um, I think using super speed here would just be counterproductive. I think um, it would just take us longer to get up, really, because um, we have just hit walls and fall down holes like that one. So uh, we'll just leisurely stroll along. Uh, I think we go down this hole, though. Yes, here we go. And we are up. Well, that, was, uh, that wasn't so bad. All right, hi, Jasmine. What's up? Will that medicine cure Amphi? Sanjeet handed the secret potion to Jasmine. I like to say all of the stage directions. On, oh, please don't be offended. Uh -huh. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. How are you feeling, Ampharos? You feeling better? Are you going to be? Palu palu! Oh, look at him moving around. That's good. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. Yeah, can you re repair this lighthouse while you go? It's got some holes in it. In fact, you have to drop down a hole to get up to the top. It's kind of weird. How are you doing, Ampharos? Palu palu palu! Oh, the flashing. That's good. Don't flash me. See, they just leave this Ampharos up here with, like, a cup of cold tea, some bacon and eggs, and a bed. I mean, to be fair, that's probably better than the average Pokemon life, but, um, whatever. Okay, we're going to super speed down all the holes. Let's do it! Ah! Wow, that is super speed, everybody. That's like teleportation. It's almost worth going back up there just to do it again, but, um, we won't. Don't worry. So, uh, off to the gym. Uh, where there will be no junior trainers, just a straight gym fight. So we better think about who we're gonna bring to the fore. So steel type, uh, Steelix has the ground type. So we'll be a, we'll be attacking with water. So there's camping to consider. Although does Steelix have a ground move? That's something to consider. Maybe Big Sis is a good one, but not to lead off with because we have to take care of a couple of Magnemites. Womashton might uh, come into her own here. His own, her, her own. It's a her woman. Woman. Um, in fact, all my team is a her except for Vinda Two, I think. So there we go. Um, so ooh, the thing is, when Steelix comes in, we'll have to try and like switch out because Warmashton's Rock type is a bit weak. To um, I, we could use Vinda Two because Vinda Two might be better. Yeah, let's go with Vinda Two. I mean, I want to use Warmashton, but I think I'll use Vinda Two because. You know, Vinda 2 needs, uh, needs to level up and we want a Typhlosion. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce my- I know who you are, Jasmine. I use the Steel Type. Do you know about the Steel Type? It's a type that was only recently Be discovered. Um, may I begin? So this is a Steel Type, a lot like, um, today's Fairy Type. Kind of pertinent, wouldn't you say? Um... It's, un it's unknown whether there's going to be a sound type as well. At the time of recording, it is unknown. News may have come out by now. Um, but I I don't think there is going to be a sound type. I mean, the, the se a lot of the new Pokemon, like Neuvern, seem to like lend themselves to sound. But why would you announce fairy type like separately from sound? It makes sense to announce them together unless you're trying to build hype. But, you know, they made a trailer for fairy type, so... I I think um, I think sound type is um, not gonna happen, but you know fairy type definitely is gonna happen. Um, oh, I've just noticed that um, my screen record is like slightly off to the right, so you could probably see a little, a tiny amount of the edge of the window. That's slightly not. Oh my God, Steelix is here. Okay, don't know whether to stay in or not. I'm gonna I'm gonna not because I'm scared of like I don't know. This thing must have a ground move. I'm not sure if it's dig or not. But um, you know, if it does have a ground move, I'm not I'm not gonna find out with um, Binder Two. So I'll go into Big Sis off the bat. 
Rock throw. Okay, rock instead of ground. Well, we can deal with that. We can live with that better. Uh, but, um, still good to go. And now we'll just surf and hope to uh, win this fight. That'll be, uh, hopefully a couple of surfs should do this thing in maybe three. I was talking about fairy type, but I'm going to have to concentrate. I don't want to die. Wow, this is a two-it KO. That's nice. Sunny day. It's too late. It's too late to sunny day. It's too late. Yep, no uh, potions here, and hopefully this surf will take it out. So fairy tide, what do you think of fairy tide, Nigel? Well, uh, not not a lot. Uh, no, no, it's a fairy type is a good thing. It is a good thing because the game needed a new type. Um, to be honest, it needed to shake things up because I I think the general 3Dness of the game, like if you can call like like the 3DS stuff. I mean, I'm ne I'm never gonna play that game with the 3D switched on because I hate the 3D. Uh, we'll use one Ashton to take on this Magnemite. We wanted to give it, give it, give her something. Um, so I'm just going to play it like, you know, I, the the changing graphics is what I'm trying to say. Because um, how much is that going to do? That's going to do a lot. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't stay in on this thing. Um, I think I'll go into Suki just to be safe. I don't want a crit Thunderbolt happening. Um, sorry, I'm not getting anywhere with my explaining of uh, what I think of fairy type. That's okay. Just, just try and you know get something out of your mouth. Right, right, right Sandy, I will. Um, fairy type. It's it's a good thing. It is good. However, however, this is the thing. When steel type was introduced, magnemite here was magnemite the only thing to gain a type to steel. I think it was. Maybe there was one other thing, but I think magnemite is the only one whose typing changed like a previous Pokemon change, and that's fine. I'm very happy for Clefairy to become Fairy. However, I would like... Well, Clefairy's not confirmed yet, but Jigglypuff is, so we'll say Jigglypuff. However, I would like Jigglypuff to retain the normal type. I mean, I'm not too fussed about it changing completely to Fairy, but I, I would like it to keep the normal typing, because I don't like Pokemon types to change. You can add a type, but I don't really want you to change it. Like, um... I don't know... I, I don't know, like, as all of them seem to be single type so far that have been announced, but, you know, say Galard got, um, fairy type. At the moment he's, like, psychic fighting. I mean, I don't think he's gonna get fairy type. I think that's just for Gardevoir, but for argument's sake, say he did, and they took away, sort of, the psychic or the fighting type and replaced it with fairy, that would bug me. You know, I think if something's already got two types, it's too late. Do not change the typing, because that would... That's just an inconsistency between generations. It's a little bit too big of an inconsistency for me, uh, to be honest. But anyway, we just beat Jasmine, and, um, you know, that was a very anticlimactic gym fight. But um, I want to talk about fairy type and how I don't think you should take away typings from dual types. But now we will focus on the LP. Yes, why not? It's a good idea. Right, now, I have a friend, IRL, who um, told me that there's, like, a nugget in here in this Moo Moo Milk field. Do you have it? I don't know. I don't even know if I have an item finder. Um, should probably check if see if I do. No. Um, well, I don't want to go through the entire field pressing the A button. Is it going to be in a corner or something? Like, is it down here? Come on. We'll go around the edge of the field. Damn it! I missed one. A A A A A A A A A A O. I'm looking for a nugget. Oh my god! Wow, found it. Okay, my friend. I was gonna say my friend is just having me on, but there is a nugget there, and that is useful because we need money. So well done, friend. I've forgotten what you get here, but but I feel okay. I'm gonna give Moo Moo milk, Moo Moo a berry or something. Moo, it's cries. Jeez, oh, do I have to talk to you to give it a berry? She's lots of berries. Okay, now can I give you a berry? Moo. I have freaking. Did I use all my berries? The hell? I'm sure I didn't. Where do where they keep berries? I don't have a. I have three berries. I want to give. I want to give the damn thing a berry. She needs lots of berries. Oh, do I have to talk to the guy in the house? Yeah. Okay. Got to go next door. Ah. Oh, hi. Our milk even goes to Kanto. That's good. Okay. That's great. Didn't in Gen 1, but whatever. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Feed it lots of berries. Okay, I've heard that like twice. Ugh, I never noticed this annoyance in the main game, like when I played it first time. Come on, let's give it some berries. Moo. 
Give it, yeah, all right. Let's give them all the berries we can. Right, those are the three berries. Um, I'm going to keep doing that, maybe off screen. I mean, I, I just feel bad leaving a sick mill tank when I could heal it. So, you know what? There is one more berry that we can get around here. Whoop. Super speed. And berry time. Very, very good. That was that was a joke that was in the um, in the Nintendo official guide for this game. I remember the page. Its title is "Very Good" or "Very, Very Good." Oh, hilarious! You know what? I have a theory about my enjoyment of Pokemon games. Go on, Nigel. Right. I had a guide. I bought a guide in Gen One to get through Sylph co Company because um, I couldn't figure out how to get the card key because. I was retired. Like, it's a long story. I just couldn't figure out how to get the card key, even though I knew where the card key was. And um, the thing, so I bought the guide. But the guide sort of enhanced the game. Like, I never really got stuck any other time. Um, but I really enjoyed the guide and sort of the the Pokedex with the moves. What I wanted to give a berry. I just had no berries. Oh, stupid Miltank. Guilty looks. That's a mint berry on that tree there. I'm pretty sure. So, um, so was, yeah, but I enjoyed the game probably more because I had just something to read when I wasn't playing the game and just think, oh, that's cool, and, oh, I didn't know about that legendary bird. And I got the guide for Gen 2, uh, and the guide wasn't as good. It didn't tell you what level Pokemon learned moves, but it was still, you know, a fun companion. Now, in Gen 3, I abandoned the guide. I no longer, I didn't need the guide. I didn't really use my Gen 2 one apart from fun reading. But in Gen 3 I banned the guard and I didn't enjoy Gen 3 as much, and same story with Gen 4 and 5, so maybe I just prefer the graphical style of the early games, which I do. Uh, I just like this this look that you're looking at right now a lot better than later games, but um, maybe also having a guide and a companion to the games was was a feature I enjoyed. Maybe I'll get a guide for Gen 6 if I have time to play the game. So, um, right, that's Mount Mortar, which we're not going to explore yet. We're going to surf our way to Mahogany Town, city, I think it's town. And uh, away we, we could actually catch whatever we find on this route. Yeah, um, we don't really need much, but we'll, we'll catch this Goldeen. Goldeen is uh, with something we haven't seen before. And it's a male! Why are the female Pokémon that we sort of... Why are the Pokémon we want to be female, like, male, and once we want to be male, female? Doesn't make... It's not going well. Anyway, we, I'll just quick attack, and if we kill it, we kill it, you know? Don't really care about Goldeen. Oh, yeah, okay, so we can catch it. That's cool. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Pokeball, go! Alright, let's just let's make this nice and simple, Goldeen. Don't make me use an Ultra Ball or a Great Ball or whatever the other type of ball we have. Just catching a Pokeball would be really nice. Oh, Goldeen, I thought we were on the same page. I really did. Uh, super speed, Pokeball. Gotcha. Right, got a name of Goldeen. Male Goldeen. What about Moldeen? Oh, that's an excellent name. Yes, it's a cross between male and Goldeen. It's a terrible name. I know, but, you know, I'm going to go with it <laughs> because it's kind of funny. Moldeen. Like it. All right, go to Bill's PC. Have fun there. All right, so there's some trainers. This is where Suicune would we be. I used to call Suicune... Fun fact, I used to call Suicune Suicine. Like... Because that's how I thought it was pronounced. I don't know why. I was a stupid child. Anyway, um, but this is silver, so Suicune isn't there, so uh, off we go. Riding on Big Sis's back. Uh, this, well, this doesn't really count as a new area, does it? We'll just kill this Goldeen off. Nice and simple. Get a level for our trouble. All right, who needs training? I've, I, I did use a Pokemon Center. Good, because I'm going to train Wamashton, because I feel like I haven't done much with her. Uh, so we will. Right, so let's take on you. Let me demonstrate the power of Pokemon I caught. Alright, 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 alright. I have a feeling this guy uses a Quillfish, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm on the money. And, um, we don't like Quillfishes on this LP, because you killed Mrs. Hudson. So, big rock slide in your face. Sorry, I'm super speeding when perhaps I shouldn't be, but, um... Yeah, I just wanted to get that quillfish off the screen. It was upsetting me. Yeah, we, we do not like quillfishes. Okay, Fisherman Chris, that's you out the way. Let's take on this weirdo. Ooh, hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you out. There's like two other people here. Okay, well, whatever. What are you going to use? What have you got? What have you got in your locker? Pokemaniac Shane? 
Nidorina. Oh, I remember when we had a Nidorina, and loads of people have now told me that we could have evolved it to a Nidor Queen by various ways of getting Moonstone. So that's that's a double loss for like Mrs. Hudson now. I'm really upset. Never mind. Rock slidded, rock slidded out of there, and uh, what else? You got Nidorino. That would make sense. Yep, that is what you have indeed. And we'll just rock slide that as well. Rock slide is such a cool move. I like rock slide. Before the days of Stone Edge, rock slide was the bee's knees in, in terms of rock moves, and it just sounds cool. I think in Gen One it sounded really cool. Like it sounded like like shit was really going down when rock slide. If I remember correctly, it was sort of like a really high pitch sort of like. That, that, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, no, that was a good impression. No, 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 it wasn't. And so I feel... Oh, God, is this guy a convict? Has he escaped from prison? It's so good to be outside. I feel free. Oh, my God, we're fighting... We're fighting a murderer. Oh, dear. Hiker Benjamin, you murderer. Diglets. Well, Warmashton is weak to Diglets, but um, this Diglet is, you know, sort of pathetic because it's level 14, so we'll super speed... A Doug Trio at level 16, again that's uh, pretty pathetic. And Geodude, which will just low kick in the face. Yeah, so uh, everyone's um, at a far lower level because we're so over leveled. And hi mom, what's up? I better go check my box and see what you've been buying me. If you've bought me a Moonstone, I'll just cry. <laughs> if, I, if I've had a Moonstone sitting here all this time, I'm just going to be so upset. I think there's a trainer in here. But no, I don't want to get too far in there. I could catch something, but. Uh, I, I'm happy with the team I've got for now, to be honest, so um, we'll leave Mount Morton. In fact, um, down here I could catch something as well. Well, let's have a look. Spearow! Oh, I'll have one of them. See if a low kick will... Oh, low kick will kill, won't it? Yep. Oh, well, guess I can't catch anything anymore from there. In fact, let's see what we can get in here now that I just killed a Spearow. A Spearow would be useful, because I've got Fly now, and I've got nothing that can learn Fly. Zubat. I feel like I've caught one of them before, but I can't remember. I'll just use Rock Slide on it. Don't care. Don't care about Zubats. So that was pointless. Sorry for wasting your time. Uh, on to Mahogany Town. Alright, let's check the box and see if we have to commit suicide. Because I'll be... If there's a Moonstone here... I'm just gonna cry. This is gonna be so sad. If there's a Moonstone. Alright, Sandy each PC. Withdraw item. Oh, you bitch, mum! Oh, you horrible, horrible. Oh, you cow. Oh, that's not fair. That's not even funny. Um, I'm upset. No, I'm not, I'm not taking the Moonstone with me. I will take the Super Potion. Oh, oh, fuck off, Moonstone. No, no. Oh, that, that is... That is very saddening. Alright, uh, we've been going for 18 minutes. Sorry not a lot has happened in this part. It's Well, we, we beat a gym leader. It was just so uneventful, and we talked all the way through it. Hi, sunny boy. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try Yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just 300 poker dollars. Want one? Yeah, I'll spend three hundred dollars on a candy bar. Oh my god, it's not like I have anything else to do. Um, right, so in the next part, we will explore Mahogany Town and uh, head to the Lake of Rage. Um, hope to see you then, and uh, in what should be another boring, moving along part. But um, you know, the story is progressing and stuff, and our team is progressing really nicely. I think we're actually going to be successful in this Nuzlocke for the first time since the first part. So. Um, that's progress. Yes, it is. Okay. We will see you next time for Nuzlocke 17? No, no, no. We're well beyond that. Um, we'll see you next time for more Nuzlocke part. See you then. Bye.